What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Market Journey, and I'm coming today with something a little bit different, a lesson that has to be learned a million times over for me to understand. It is so, so, so annoying. It is so annoying. I made a really bad trade today, a very, 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 very poor trade. If I did not make this trade, my account would be well over 13K right now. But instead, I decided to be goofy, okay? If you've watched any of my videos, every single video, I think I'm dead serious. I think I've said this every video. Stocks do not go in one direction forever. If there's a big jump, there's probably going to be a correction. If there's a big dip, there's probably going to be a correction. With that being said, I saw Netflix down this morning a little bit over a 1%. So I decided to try and play some call options. Just like in the last options video, I've used this strategy multiple times and I've, I've been profitable with it. I've done pretty good with it, but I made one big, big mistake this time that cost me over $1,000 in one day. Now my account is only down $448, but that's because my positions did really well. But if we look at Netflix, Let's just go look at this one week. You see this jump? It went from being down. <laughs> it went from being down on the week to being up. <laughs> to being up 15%. And my goofy self decided, instead of being logical and telling myself, hey, I should expect a little bit of a correction on this. Instead of seeing that, and playing it smart and saying, you know what? It's probably not the best move. It's already jumped so much this week. I should probably stay out of this one. Well, I just decided anyway that I wasn't going to trust myself and trust what I already know. And I was going to play some call options over here. So I buy a contract. It went up a little bit. And I'm like, okay, cool. We're chilling. Things are going okay. I'm up a little bit. And then it starts going back down. I'm like, okay. Went down a little bit more. I'm going to buy me another contract. And as you can see, <laughs> it continued to drop the entire day. And instead of just cutting my losses and realizing I had all day, I literally had all day to go back and look at this. And I did look at this. I had all day to look at this and go, hmm, it would make sense if this stock goes down all day. Instead of doing that, <laughs> I decided to go against everything that I know and just send it anyway. And this one bit me. It bit me really hard. And it never recovered today, obviously. And it was a day trade, so I did sell it. I took a fat loss, over $1,000. It really, it really hurts. It really does. I'm not going to lie to you. But at the end of the day, you got to move on. You got to learn from it. You got to take the good with the bad. As of my one year chart, I'm still up over 70%. For that, I am so thankful. And I hope you guys can learn something from this. Looking at this, the more logical play would have been either A, completely staying out of it, which would have been the best option in my opinion, or B, playing put options. But I do not like playing put options because because statistics say the market grows 8 to 10% every single year. So if I'm playing put options, it's almost betting against statistics. I really just do not like playing put options. I would rather play call options. This one just hurts. It hurts really bad. It really, it really does. My account would be over 13K. Oh, God, it hurts. It really does. It's hate it or love it. You got to take the good with the bad. You know, I can sit here and throw myself a pity party and cry about it all day if I want to, but I'm not going to get anywhere doing that. With that being said, next week I'm going to bounce back. And if the market drops, that's okay too, but I'm going to be smart. I'm going to make the right moves. I'm going to make the smart decisions, and I'm going to trust myself and trust what I know. And I'm not, I am not going to make a goofy play like I made. I have $3,000 in buying power. I definitely, I need to put that in long-term positions. I need to put that $3,000 in call options that I plan to hold over the next couple months. 
and just take a step back from day trading. I've done a few lately. Since I started the channel, I've only done one, or well, two now, but I've only done two day trades. But after today and what happened, I'm gonna just take a step back from day trading. And next week, I'm gonna come in, put that three grand into some call options that I plan to hold for a couple months. I'll probably make some videos over the weekend of some stocks that I wanna get into. So I hope you learn this lesson with me. Trust your gut, know that a correction is coming in either direction. If there is a big jump in a stock or there's a big dip in a stock, there is most likely gonna be a correction. Expect it, be prepared for it, be ready for it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.